Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with Eric Oren. Well, happy Tuesday to you folks. We have a lot to talk about this morning, a winter storm in the area. We're starting by looking at local road conditions, and boy, you can see we are already into some activity, a mix of rain and snow in the lower elevations early today. It should be mostly snow by later this morning. We're looking at some blowing snow already at Lava Butte, uh, definitely some wet roads in the rest of the area here, and a little above freezing in most places here this morning, so not too worried about uh, uh, black ice, but limited visibility definitely possible, and some uh, gusty conditions here uh, on the high desert. Let's take a look at conditions in Redmond here as well. Uh, you can see it's, it's some limited visibility, potentially some wet roads, but uh, generally speaking, as I mentioned, a little above freezing here this morning as we take a look at your workday forecast here before we get started talking about this storm. Uh, as you can see, sunset around 444, sunrise this morning at 739 a.m. A mix of rain and snow with us early, turning to mostly snow later. The mountains may get up to a couple of feet of snow. Uh, of course, the high end bend 39 degrees, wind already around around 26 degree, uh, 26 miles per hour. We're expecting 25 to 35 miles an hour. Gusts of up to 50 miles an hour are possible today. Uh, weather headlines, we do have a winter storm in the area. Also some blizzard-like conditions in the Cascades and persisting down here in the lower elevations south of Bend as well. Uh, travel's gonna be greatly impacted today and travel in the mountains should be reserved for emergencies only. Here's a look at the blizzard warning in place until 4 p.m. today. That's due to gusty winds of up to 60 miles per hour possible and as I mentioned accumulations of snow 10 to 50 inches that's 50 uh, reduced visibility and of course we call it a blizzard when uh, winds are at 35 miles an hour or more and blowing for more than three hours and that's in combination with snow that's either falling or already on the ground and creating limited visibility it's going to get close to a quarter of a mile or less in some places creating very very hazardous conditions and that's going to be south of Bend as well and the areas Bend and north of Bend on Highway 97 they're included in the winter weather advisory when they're expecting anywhere between two and five inches of snow at least. It's actually looking like we're going to be getting a bit more than that. And uh, it's going to be fairly windy here on the high desert, as I mentioned, gusts near 50 miles an hour possible. A winter storm warning in place in much of Deschutes and Crook County and areas to our south and the west of us as well. I mentioned quite a bit of snow set to fall here as a result of this winter storm we're experiencing. And visibility will be greatly reduced as well. So travel is going to be compromised in the areas we're uh, seeing affected here. Now, wind advisory also in place here until 1 p.m. Wednesday. So these windy, uh, these active winds, I should say, uh, will be here with us for a while. We're expecting gusts possible up close to 55 miles an hour, but a realistic range of sustained wind is going to be closer to 25 to 35 miles an hour here. And the area is outlined in blue, which is very, very speedy. And of course, winds at this speed can uh, damage tree limbs and cause power outages. Uh, something to keep in mind on your commutes this morning and also this evening. Let's take a look at future snowfall for you. As of this morning, you can see already a bit of activity in the mountains. And then as we make our way through the next 24 hours or so, uh, you can see snow in a couple of feet in the mountains. And then in the lower elevations, we're looking at 5 to 10 inches. So uh, those predictions for the winter weather advisory may actually be a little bit shy of what we actually expect to see. By Thursday morning, we're looking at quite a bit more snow. As we take a quick look here at your highs for the day, we're looking at the 30s and 40s. Also wanted to show you your seven-day forecast, give you an idea what's coming in the week ahead. Now, this activity that's with us today is going to last all the way through Wednesday afternoon at some point. Dying down a little bit on Thursday, and then as we get through the end of the week, you can see here, more chances for a wintry mix. The temperatures over the weekend, not going to get quite as cold as we expected, but down into the teens overnight. That's been a look at your local alert weather.